All right, I think we got the uh, sun's not too bad here. We're going to do a kind of a review of the J point circle dot sight. Here we've got a J point mounted on the Glock slide. Here, this is actually replaced a Burris Fast Fire 3. Had a Fast Fire 3 on this pistol for probably three years. Um, the new J point circle dot sight came out. And I've been wanting to try one. I like that style of reticle, like the EOTech style of reticle with the 65 MOA circle and a 1 MOA dot in the center. Uh, so it will fit on a slide uh, that has had a burst on it. Uh, you can see it, it's quite a bit shorter than the burst. It was slot milled. Like I said, this has been milled out about three years ago for a burst fast fire. Uh, red dot. Um, let's see if we can see the reticle there. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like looking through the sight. Uh, a lot of people didn't think it would work good on a pistol. So far, I've had it on here several months and it, I really like it. Uh, it was kind of compared to a Delta Point. Let's see if I can pick up the Delta in there. I guess it's kind of faint there, but I believe that's it. Uh, overall size compared to a Delta Point, it is a little bit thicker. At least it gives the appearance of being thicker. Now the overall height is actually just a little bit smaller. The window is just a hair smaller. Uh, kind of compare on the 2011 there. Uh, basically it is about the thickness of the top of the surround on the delta point. It's about that much lower. Now it is a little bit narrower. I don't really have a problem with the, that window being that much smaller than the delta point. And, well, one reason because the Delta Point is no longer available. I went to the Delta Point Pro and it's quite a bit bigger overall. Longer, thicker, sets taller off the slide and it weighs more. So, uh, my opinion, it's not as good a candidate for mounting on a slide as the original Delta Point here. That is a fantastic sight. But, the J point circle dot reticle is works great as well. I also mounted one on my rifle on a 45 degree, um, and we kind of compare that. Got another one. This is a Burris Fast Fire 2 mount. I kind of compare just to give you an idea on the size. Maybe uh, the J point you can see sets quite a bit lower than the Burst Fast Fire 2. Uh, had good luck with the Fast Fires. However, when I was running the Fast Fire on my pistol, I also put a taller front sight on, the suppressor sight, just to help in the occasion whenever you do uh, miss the, the dot, that taller sight will help. The J point being lower to the slide lines up more with where you would be looking if you're used to shooting iron sights. So that was a big plus in my opinion there. Um, another thing, the uh, J point is a it stays on all the time. And you can put these covers on. It puts the dim, dims the reticle to the minimum brightness, and uh, the battery should last about a year, maybe a little over that way being on all the time. It's, like I said, it's auto bright. One thing I did figure out, you don't want to, or just to keep in mind, if you put this on uh, in a room with fluorescent lights, it will, be, it will flicker. That means, the reason being, the optical sensor in the J-Point will pick up the refresh rate of a fluorescent light, which the naked eye can't see it, but a fluorescent light actually flickers. It doesn't give a steady light. 
And so the J point will pick that up if you're putting it on in, putting it on in a in your office or in a room where the there's fluorescent lighting and it will kind of make it flash. So that's not a problem with the site that is just as picking up the refresh rate, the flickering of the fluorescent light. Um, so overall, it's a real good site. Now here's the, let's see if we can. This uh, Burris has got a this is a free MOA dot right there. I like a 3M way dot on the rifle. We've tried eight. In my opinion, that's too big. Um, however, on a pistol, three is too small for quick, quick uh, picking up the, the dot quickly. Now, on the rifle, on the 45, it works. It works great. Also gives you precision. You can shoot out to basically 100 yards. Well, we generally don't do that far. If I'm going out to 100, I'll go back to my optic. But we do use the red dot sight out to 50 quite often. Um, one thing that I did, I, I painted the cover on my one on my pistol orange. I lost several. I don't know. They seem to come off fairly easily if you're walking around with a pistol in your holster to match. So I painted uh, one on my pistol blaze orange, and I haven't lost one since. So that's something to keep in mind but uh, I haven't done it on my rifle yet you might notice my good old uh, handy dandy zip tie throw lever that's something that's kind of handy to keep in your range bag if you're at a match and break your throw lever off you can use a zip tie and it works just fine to make a quick throw lever in, in a pinch so I always keep a big zip tie in my range bag for that purpose but here you see I've got this on mounted on uh, a JP rifle, which is a new rifle this year. This is actually the most accurate rifle I've owned. I don't do any precision shooting, but I do have some bolt guns. I don't have any problem putting five holes under a nickel at 100 yards with this gun. I've, like I said, I've never had a gun that was that was this accurate before. Even even my hunting rifles, the bolt guns, don't have the accuracy that I've gotten out of this JP. Um, over here, I do have the JP side charging version here. And I really like that. I've also got a side charger uh, shotgun. We build the MK1919 shotguns and we make a forward charging handle that goes on those and uh, I like that. It's extremely fast for cycling the action, uh, picking up a gun that's been staged that you need to chamber around. It makes it uh, a lot faster. You grab the gun with, the, uh, in, with your hand in on the fire control group, cycle the action with your weak hand as you're bringing it up to your shoulder and and you're good to go. Another thing I've got here on this rifle is the JP roller trigger. That's a fantastic trigger. I think this one is three pounds, 13 ounce pull weight. Uh, excellent trigger for precision shots, short reset, crisp break. Uh, fantastic trigger. But uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of what. Uh, the J point circle dot reticle um, and compared to the bold delta point uh, this is uh, 2011 that we built here at Tooth and Nail Armory and uh, fantastic gun I believe I will be building one for me uh, should be ready in a couple of weeks maybe less and it will have the J point circle dot on it I'm been shooting the Glock here until my 2011 gets finished, but uh, pretty nice gun right there. I thought I saw the reticle flash through there, but kind of hard to pick up.
This is the MKA 1919 that we build here at Tooth and Nail Armory. There's the forward side charging handle I was talking about. Uh, does have an EOTech on it right at the moment, but that is getting changed to the J point circle dot as soon as I get the mount. Need a mount with a little bit of a riser to get it up off of the top of the gun so you get a, a good cheek weld. Um, but if you do have a shotgun with a drop comb stock on it, uh, the low profile mount will work fantastic. But uh, for this gun, AR-15 style gun, you need something to get the sight just a little bit higher off of the gun to get a proper cheek weld.